The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, has been revolutionizing the field of space science for more than a century now. This independent agency of the U.S. federal government is responsible for the civil space program, aeronautics research and space research that has entirely changed our perception of the strange yet mesmerizing world around us. Their missions have helped us better understand the cosmos and the phenomena occurring in the furthest parts of it. And last year, scientists at NASA announced that they had detected something incredibly massive between Earth and Venus. Join us as we learn more about the huge discovery and what it means for humanity. In January 2021, Gregory Leonard, a senior research specialist at the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory, spotted the brightest and most anticipated comet of the year. It was somewhat of an accidental discovery. The comet was spotted using the Catalina Sky Survey's 1.5-meter telescope at the Mount Lemmon Infrared Observatory, situated in the Santa Catalina Mountains of Arizona. The comet was previously called C-2021A1. At the time of its discovery, the comet was about 750 million kilometers from the Sun. The comet has been making its way to the inner solar system. It passed near the Earth on December 12, 2021, and Venus on December 17, 2021. It had a retrograde orbit, and its nucleus was almost one kilometer across. It actually came within four million kilometers of Venus, which is considered the closest known cometary approach to Venus. At the time of its discovery, it appeared to have a 10-inch coma and a 5-inch broad tail in the photographs taken as part of the Mount Lemmon survey. Its magnitude was estimated to be 19. A short but dense dust tail was observed in the comet on October 10th. The first ever naked eye observation reports by experienced observers started pouring in on December 5, 2021. The low surface brightness of the huge comet made it difficult to observe in urban areas, just like with the Messier 33. The comet was about 5 degrees from the star Arcturus on the 6th of December 2021, and on the 14th of December, it was observed to be 14.7 degrees from the Sun. This was when it became better seen from the southern hemisphere. The forward scattering of light brightened up the comet for a brief interval to as much as a magnitude 2.5. However, according to experts, modest outbursts also contributed to this brightening. On December 15th, 20th, and the 23rd, the comet experienced outbursts, thereby reaching the third magnitude before it dimmed back to the fourth magnitude. The ion tail of Comet Leonard looked complex with knots and streamers. According to Gregory Leonard, this tail was among some of the best ever observed. Scientists were able to track this tail for almost 60 degrees in the sky in stacked photos. When the comet was lower in the sky, atmospheric extinction offset most of the brightening. Since December 22, 2021, the comet had been around apparently magnitude 4, making it a good binocular comet for viewers in the southern hemisphere of the planet. Comet Leonard was the brightest comet of 2021. It was again observed using the SLU telescope in Chile on the 23rd of February 2022. The telescope was operated by Martin Masek. During this view, it was observed that the comet lacked central concentration. This suggested that the nucleus of the comet had either disintegrated or evaporated entirely. Later observations also confirmed the absence of concentration. The C-2021A1 had been inside the orbit of Neptune since May 2009. According to experts, the comet had an estimated 80,000-year orbital period. This means it spent the last 40,000 years inbound from approximately 550 billion kilometers. Experts have predicted that after perihelion, the comet would be ejected from the solar system. In an interview, Gregory Leonard explained that experts do stumble upon unknown comets quite often, and the same was the case with Leonard's discovery. He saw an object not as a point or a star-like entity as most asteroids tend to appear, Instead, this one had a telltale fuzzy coma that comets have. The coma is the thin, tenuous atmosphere that forms around the comet's nucleus when it gets close enough to the sun to either excite, sublimate, or to boil off the ice that the comet is composed of. Besides the thin coma and fuzziness, Leonard also detected a stubby little tail, which was also a telltale sign that it was indeed a comet he was looking at. According to Gregory, one of the most unexpected things about this comet was its orbit. Unlike most comets discovered over the years, this one was in an orbit that brought it comparatively closer to the Earth and the Sun. It was actually so close that casual observers could have witnessed it from their backyards. 
The comet is thought to have originated from a distant sphere of comets known as the Oort Cloud. This congregation of comets is actually a vast reservoir of millions or even billions of comets. The Oort Cloud is really far from the Sun. It is at least 5,000 astronomical units away, but it could go as far as 100,000 astronomical units. Comet Leonard most likely came from the inner Oort Cloud, around 3,700 astronomical units away. Experts call it a long-period comet. The last time it had entered the solar system was approximately 80,000 years ago. Scientists still have little to no clue as to what this comet is made of. Some researchers have speculated that it could be composed of water ice, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, some ammonia, and probably some other exotic compounds too. When Gregory Leonard discovered the comet, it was about 450 million miles away, which is almost the distance at which Jupiter orbits the Sun. He also pointed out that because he spotted the tail of the comet while it was in that cold region of space, it's probably not made of water ice as it would not sublimate at this distance. So it was some other compound like carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide that was sublimating and boiling away. Comets are incredibly pristine, unaltered primitive bodies left over from the formation of planets. This means when we look at these comets, we're actually observing pieces of cosmic history. Experts believe once they've pinpointed what Comet Leonard is made of, they'll be able to learn more about the conditions that existed at the time of our solar system's formation. So how exactly did Comet Leonard end up in our solar system? The Oort Cloud comets are apparently held in a gravitational balance between the mild tug of the Sun's gravity and the gravitational pull of our galaxy, the Milky Way. The slightest disturbance in this balance can cause these comets to fall out of the Oort Cloud or they can also set out on their journey inwards to the Sun. And that's what happened to the Leonard Comet and many others like it. The gravitational pull of the Sun mostly wins once the balance is distributed, and in turn, the comets start cascading towards it. However, it does take them tens of thousands of years to reach their final destination. Comet Leonard was in its final passage at the time of its discovery, and was moving with an escape velocity of 70 kilometers per second, this is enough for the comet to be flung out of the solar system forever. Experts are still working on finding out how the comet affected Venus while it flew by close to it on December 17th. They're particularly trying to figure out whether it's possible for Venus to pass through the dust stream left behind by the comet. The only thing consistent about comets is their utter unpredictability. Comets have often been compared to cats as both have tails and do whatever they want. Leonard had continued on its journey through the inner solar system when scientists noticed that something drastically changed. The comet's tail had taken on the appearance of twisted streamers, even as the core became brighter. According to Quan Ji Yi, a former astronomer at the University of Maryland who specializes in comets, for some reason the comet decided to return to life and unleash a few outbursts that reversed the fading trend. And like most other comets, Leonard has also proven to be notoriously unpredictable. Observers had expected it to brighten as it approached the Earth because of the decreasing distance and also as it got closer to the Sun. But Leonard didn't follow this trend. It did appear to brighten, but only because of the decreasing distance in terms of its intrinsic properties. But as it continued towards the Sun, skywatchers were surprised to see it change again. This new spectacle resulted from the solar wind, which is a stream of charged plasma particles that constantly flow off the Sun and across the solar system. Quan Ji Yi explained that this and all sorts of visual effects are caused by influences of the solar wind. Most of the mesmerizing effects that were seen in the pictures were from the ion tail. Comet Leonard made its closest approach to the Sun on January 3rd, when it came within 90 million kilometers of the Sun. While Leonard has sped past the Sun previously, too, it will never do this again. In fact, it was speculated that the comet's trajectory would carry it out of our solar system into interstellar space. But as it turns out, after shining in telescopes and cameras throughout 2021, the comet is no more. The icy wanderer showed first signs of distress in November, but at the time only amateur astronomers and observers became suspicious of disintegration. Various signs of unusual behavior alerted them. These included the slowed down brightness trend, the head of the comet stopped appearing round, and the comet's path was seemingly veering off course. But this wasn't why the comet disintegrated. 
Leonard's first breakup was confirmed by Martin Masek on the 23rd of February. Other observers also noticed that the comet had a little more than a ghostly streak. The comet's tail began to show complicated structure, probably due to the breaking off of pieces from the nucleus. This revealed new areas that the Sun would eventually heat up. And despite the disintegration, Gregory Leonard considers himself lucky to have had the opportunity to witness an object that was a remnant of the early solar system. According to him, comets like Leonard are reminders of the transient nature of the universe that deserve to be admired for all their magnificent mystery and unpredictability. Although, he was hoping to see which potential star system it would bump into in the future.